Hey guys, got a bunch of leather here on the table. I'm going to do a quick video talking about full grain leather, top grain leather, and then just some general characteristics about leather. Uh, so the best leather and strongest and most durable is just below the hair on the cow. And this is called full grain leather. This is where the fibers are the densest and the tightest, and this leather is going to age the best, get the best patina, and last the longest. Um, in addition to being the strongest and best leather, it also has the most character. So what's cool is it has like nicks and scratches uh, from the cow's life. And then a lot of times it'll even have like the brand mark from the rancher. Um, so it's really cool. Actually, my leather wallet, um, the wallet that I made, um, I've had it for like 10 years now. And you can see right here, it has like this little insect um, spot where the, an insect had dug into the cow during its life. Um, it just gives it a little a little bit more character. Um, I think it's real fun fun to see that. And then so the next best leather is called top grain leather. So with top grain leather what they do is they sand down the top couple millimeters and it gets rid of those scratches and it kind of gives them more of like a clean cut, like a cookie cutter type leather. So um, this is like what like huge manufacturers would do when they want to create like a million of the same product. They need it to look perfect. Um, they don't they're not concerned about the character and the strength of the product. So that's top grain, top grain leather. And what I also think is really cool, um, so when, we, when I buy leather, they sell it as a side. So you, get, you literally get half of the cow. So you get half of the neck, you get half of the back, half of the butt, you know, two of the legs, one front leg, one back leg, and then half of the belly. And like, so when you look at the neck of the cow, obviously they're going back and forth. A lot of times it'll have like wrinkles and sometimes it even has like vein marks on it. And then like the belly of the cow, which of course is like softer, it ends up being like kind of stretchy sometimes. And a lot of times it's not quite as strong as the other parts of the cow. And same thing like with the legs, you'll see like a lot of stretchy stretch marks and kind of some irregularities. And it's just crazy to see. I mean, it's crazy to work with a natural material. It's like this was an actual living cow and that ends up showing up in your products. Um, and so anyways, I make, I make leather goods, belts and wallets and tool bag inspired bags. I hope this little, uh, snippet talking about, uh, leather, um, is helpful to you guys. Um, give my video a thumbs up, comment if you have any questions. I'm Derek. This is Werther Leather Goods. Thanks so much for your support.